alright. Today I'm going to show you how you can use PowerPoint to produce medias and videos that you usually can only produce by using a good video editor. All throughout this video, we are going to concentrate on the record ribbon tab. From this tab you will be able to find the ribbons with the functions that you'll need to compile, record, and create a good tutorial or infographic types of videos. From this tab, you can export your presentation deck to a video. This is the same as going to file menu, then export video, which I discussed on my previous PowerPoint video last week, which link I will pop up in the screen now, and you can also find in the video description below. You can also save your deck as a PowerPoint show, as a PPSX file. By doing this, when you open the file, it will automatically go straight to slideshow, and not to the editable slides. From here you can also insert an audio media to your slide, from either an existing audio file, an MP3 or WAV file, from your hard drive. Or you can also record yourself and then insert that audio recording to the slide. Aside from audio files, you can also insert a video file in the slide. Let's try inserting the channel's intro video that I created from last week's video. After it is inserted, you can work at it as any normal slide element. You can resize, reposition, rotate, and add timings to it. We also have a screen recording ability here, which I'll show later. Let's move to screenshot for now. Let me open few more window here to show you how effectively we can use the screenshot. Okay, this is just like a keyboard print screen, or a snipping tool function, but what it does better is, when you expand this ribbon, it automatically makes all the other open windows available for screenshot. So just select the window, like calculator for example, and it will be inserted to your slide, with the least effort needed. You can still use it as a normal snipping tool by selecting the screen clipping option, and the clip that you selected will automatically be added to your slide. It's still a much easier way to snip the screen, as compared to using the separate snipping tool app. The last ribbon here is the record, which we'll save for last. Let's now move to screen recording. I usually use OBS for this, but PowerPoint can also do a decent screen recording. When you click that ribbon, you will be presented with these options. You have the record and stop buttons here. Along with select area, a toggle for recording audio, and another toggle to include the mouse pointer in the recording or not. Just click it to toggle. If it is highlighted, it is enabled. Otherwise, it is disabled. For this example, let's turn on the pointer, and then turn off the audio. As you can see, the record button is disabled, that's because we haven't selected an area to record yet. Let's click select area. Then just drag your mouse to the area that you want to record. You can of course select the whole screen or just part of the screen. The selection snaps into place if you are near the edge. Let's just select part of the screen for this sample. Now you can see the record button is now enabled in red. Let's click that to start recording the selected part of the screen. There will be a 3 second countdown, and also shows the hotkey to stop the recording, which is Win Shift Q. Let's do some activities here in the selected part of the screen, so that there's something to be recoded. By the way, the audio toggle option that I've showed earlier here is limited. It is for both the microphone and PC sound. So toggling it off, like what I did, has disabled the recording for both the microphone and the PC audio. There's no separate toggle for microphone and PC audio. Alright. I think that's enough. We can then press Win Shift Q to stop the screen recording, or we can hover our mouse at the middle top area, so that the recording controls will slide down. From here we can pause the recording, in case you have some things to do in the screen that you don't want to record. You can click the record button to resume the recording. And of course, press the stop button to end the screen recording. After doing that, the screen recording video will automatically be inserted in your slide. You can then do whatever you want to it in your presentation deck. But if you want to use the video for other purposes than a PowerPoint deck, as any video in a PowerPoint slide, you can right-click the video itself, then click on the pop-up menu item Save Media As, to save the video as a separate independent video file. You can then use that video file to virtually anything you want. Alright. For this next segment, I have created four slides with a thumbnail picture of the last four PowerPoint videos I posted in the channel. All the links on these previous videos are available in the video description below by the way. Let's go back to the record ribbon tab. Now we will be doing the record function, which was previously called the narrate function of PowerPoint. You can start the recording from the beginning of the presentation deck, or from the current slide. Let's start from the beginning of the deck for this sample. We are now in the presentation recording mode. By default, we have the webcam preview here at the bottom right corner of the slide. And at the top left corner of the screen, we have controls to start and stop the recording, and to replay. We can also add notes here for the current slide, and set the font size of the notes as well. We can clear the annotations and recordings previously applied to the slides. And for the settings, we can select the device for microphone and webcam. In case you have multiple active devices on your PC, they will all show up here, and you can select the device that you want to use. 
At the bottom right corner, you have three icons here to toggle on or off, the microphone, the webcam, and the webcam preview that is shown at the bottom right corner of the slide. Let's start recording. We have the usual three second countdown. And recording has started. From this moment, all of the things you say and do, that's within the area of the slide, including the things you draw, and even the timing of moving from one slide to another, are being recorded and will be saved as a video. Just at the bottom of the slide, you have multiple tools that you can use to annotate. You have a laser pointer to point to an area in the slide. You have a pen or a highlighter to annotate within the slides. You also have a preset of colors that you can use for the annotations. And also an eraser if you want to delete any drawings that you did to the slide. You can use the circled left and right arrow at the sides of the slides to move between slides. Okay. I think that's enough demonstration. Let's now click stop to end the recording. Okay. Unlike the previous things that we did, there's no video that was automatically inserted in the slide here. But, if you notice, all the slides are modified now, based on what we did in the recording. You can see the webcam footage is now here on the bottom right corner. And it captured everything that I said and do when I was on that slide, until I moved to the next one. Now on the second slide, you can see all the annotations that I draw from the recording are all here. And when we go to the transition ribbon tab and look at the timing in the advanced slide, you will see that there is a set 24 seconds here to move to the next slide. This means that, in the recording, I spent 24 seconds in the slide before I moved to the next one. If we look at the other slides, they all have timing for moving to the next slide, which are all based on what we did in the recording. Everything that we did in the recording has been captured, applied, and saved to all the slides. It basically modified the slides to match everything that we did in the recording. So now, if you think about it, we can just easily go to the record ribbon tab, then select the export to video option, and then create a video from this presentation deck. As you can see in the status bar, the progress of the video creation is now on its way. The video that will be produced here will be the same exact thing that we did in the recording. Another option you can do here is to save this presentation deck into a slideshow file, or a PPSX file. And when you open that file, with all the transition timings, the webcam video, and annotations, which are ink objects, are all perfectly laid out and timed in each slide, the slideshow will just run along, producing the same exact sequence that you did in the recording. Alright. The video is created. Let's try to watch it and see if it's indeed the same exact thing we did in the recording. There we go. So, this is now me presenting. My microphone was also captured. There's a laser pointer part. The highlighter annotations that I did is there. Okay. The video looks exactly the same as what I did in the recording. Perfect. Now going back to the presentation deck. Since we've already produced the video for the recording, you might want to reset all the slides to its original state before the recording. To do that, go back to the record ribbon tab. Then expand the record ribbon. And expand the clear menu. From here you have an option to clear the timing, and to clear the narration, from the current or all the slides. Clear the timing means resetting the values here on the advanced slide. So the after value here will be back to zero, and its checkbox will be unchecked. Then clear the narration means clearing all the annotation ink object and the webcam video from the slide. Let's now clear the timing for all the slides. Alright. Let's go to the transition tab to confirm. As you can see, all the after checkboxed and its values are all cleared now for all the slides. Now let's clear the narration for all the slides. There we go. All the videos and annotations from the recording is delete on all the slides now. We now have fresh new set of slides in the same state before we did the recording. And that's it for this video. Just want to share to you how you can use PowerPoint as a decent media creation application. Hope you learned something new today. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nobody air.